This is the back of ECU E67. Uh, in previous video, we will use the Unicant T to program the master and slave using the BDM mode. Both uh, master and slave can be programmed and read by the, uh, the BDM. Uh, since we support the Canvas now, I'm going to show you how to use the Unicant T with the latest version 1.55 to program the this ECU only with the Canvas. Uh, first, uh, this is the back of it, and the connection for the uh, Canvas is on the left side here. Uh, the bottom one is can high, and the top one is can low on the left uh, most side. The one change we made uh, in the previous video, we said you know 3.3 volt works well with this board. Now I found with these boards, uh, 5 volt is more more reliable. And to simplify things, we uh, I have opened this case and soldered a wire 5 volt from here. I will make another video to how to modify this thing. So now I have a 5 volt this wire to this 5 volt. And the ground pin uses this ground pin. The white, uh, black wire of 3.3 volt is not used. The rest pins are the same as the uh, SPI clock, and data in, data out, and the chip select. So here we plug it in, and then we can turn on. So just make sure this is a 5 volt, it should be okay. And then we power on the 12 volt to the ECU. In the software here, we have seen this is the 1.55 version and the target needs to select the you can select the canvas you will see this is the canvas 67 canvas this one will do the mast and the slave for the mast flash we can do both read and write for the slave we can only do write i'm going to show you uh, later so first we need to enter the for, for the master First, we need to go to the uh, C itself, go to the debug arm. Once you go to the debug arm, you are able to do the programming. So you can see we detect the flash, and then uh, the entire flash is two megabyte. We are going to do a full read. Um, this read is using the CAN bus speed 500 kilohertz. Uh, this is the same clock speed or bus camera speed used in the general motor. Uh, you cannot change this speed. If you do change it, it will not communicate properly. So let's finish the read. Let's see the data here. And we can save the data to a file. And this will have the VIN number in there. So let's save it. Uh, by the way, in 1.55, we had add an option here in the config. Uh, in the same here, we can check the auto verify after program. So you can check this box after program, it will automatically do the verify. Uh, just to make sure we have a good read, uh, even though I save it, I want to you know do a more verification to do one more read, make sure we have a good backup. Uh, unlike the BDM mode, in the canvas mode, you cannot interrupt it during the programming. If you do interrupt, you have to use the BDM mode to recover it, uh, especially when you do the entire flash erase or program. Uh, if you only program the, the data portion, then that's fine. So we can just wait and see it's finished. So we read once and we verify once, we compare OK, which means the setup is work perfectly. So now I'm going to do demonstration for the erase and program, but make sure once you erase, you have to program good uh, first flashback, otherwise you may have issues. Uh, if you want to program only the portion of it, you can use the command to program with the address. Currently, I'm just say I want to erase everything. So let's do erase. And let's do a, some some portion of the blank check. Uh, instead of in, read the entire flash, which take about one minute, let's just make, make sure this this area is 
uh, empty, let's say. So I just read a quarter of the flash, make sure it's empty. It is. So at this moment, do not power off. If you do power off, you have to recover it with the BDM mode uh, method. So otherwise, I'm going to load this flash again. I'm going to click this button. So since we have the uh, auto verify enabled, this time we'll go to the erase, program, and verify in one, one go. So erase finish, then we start programming. So it's uh, programming finished, uh, take about one minute and 10 seconds. Since I have checked this box, the 1.55 allows you to automatically verify after the program. You can uncheck it uh, if you are confident the, the program is good, which I do, then you do not need to have this step. But this programming will make sure you have done program properly. For some reason failed, uh, we failed at target. What's going on here? Let me check program zero. For some reason, it failed. Uh, the beginning of the uh, the the it failed. So, but I programmed the first block and it seemed to compare. Okay, let's do a one more verify. Uh, if it failed, we can you know continue to reprogram it. So we have fully recovered this unit, uh, even though there was a glitch at like beginning of the. The programming, I don't know why, but you know this software allows you to verify it and if failed, we reprogram. Now I'm going to show you how to program the slave using the canvas. So the setup will be identical here. I'm not going to change any setup. I just power off and then we need to reselect the power off the, the ECU. I'm going to select the target here as the E67 slave. You cannot select the other slave because the initial um, Negotiation is different, so I'm going to power off. Let's switch the target. Uh, and here we are going to select the test here. Um, in the canvas mode, we can we are only allowed to program the slave OS and system OS. The boot cannot be programmed, and the slave OS has some headers as well. So this is the slave first slave OS here, and this the second is called system cal loaded as well. And uh, in the canvas mode, you are not allowed to do detect read blah blah blah. The, the only thing you can do is write. You cannot do the verify or, or anything. So let's power on the the ECU. It takes about ten seconds, then you can start programming. It. So you should not do it immediately, it will fail. Let's wait a little bit longer. And now the only button allows you to do this one button, okay? This one button will uh, negotiate, talk to the uh, ECU, and then put it into proper mode, as well as immediately program both the slave OS and the system OS. So if I press any button here, nothing will happen, but I'm going to press this button and it can to get into the debugger on, then start and program the slave OS as well as the system cal. Now you have no way to verify the slave OS programming yet. Maybe in the future we'll, we'll do it. 
But believe me, I have using the BDM method to verify the programming is okay. So in 1.55, you can use the canvas mode to program both the master and a slave on the e uh, ECU E67.